On Sunday, September 11, 1988, I wonder what everyone was doing. I was actually just three months old when we had a tropical storm that was headed to my home country of Jamaica. So September 11, 1988, people were in New Kingston enjoying themselves as Kingston at that time was the hot spot. Everybody ignored the weatherman at the time, Roy Forrester's forecast that Tropical Storm Gilbert had strengthened to a Category 3 hurricane and it had Jamaica in its crosshairs. The following day, September 12, 1988, it was purely destruction. This, there's the eye of the storm which had disappeared earlier today but now it's back and look at it go across Santa Domingo right there, boom! And there is Port-au-Prince in Haiti right there, watch it. And boom, so they got nailed tonight. Now, Jamaica's in the firing line. The thing is moving west at 15. It's about 300 miles away from Jamaica. It'll be about midday tomorrow before it starts. So in this video, we'll be talking about the devastation and destruction that Hurricane Gilbert left behind. All right, let's get into it. Before we jump into the video, let's just jump into our school uniforms, grab a pen, grab a paper, sit around your desk and be quiet, and let's learn what hurricanes are. So hurricanes are tropical cyclones. The ocean needs to be at least 26.5 degrees Celsius for a hurricane to be formed. So when wind blows across warm ocean water, the warm moist air that rises rapidly and and as it rises, the moist air cools and the water in it condenses and that turns into large storm clouds. These winds push even more warm air up from the ocean surface. More clouds and more wind make the storm more intense. Rapidly moving air creates an area of low pressure at the center of the hurricane. This is called the eye of the storm. It's usually very calm, however, the area around the eye has the most violent winds. Jamaicans are starting to rebuild, but it's a crude beginning. They're left without electrical power and water, not to mention the financial resources to get the job done. Hurricane Gilbert tore through their homes. Schoolhouses were crushed. It was a frightening experience. <laughs> On September 12, 1988, Jamaicans then started to take the hurricane very seriously and they awoke to the reality that Jamaica was about to be clobbered by this monster hurricane which had just exited the African coastline on September 3rd and it had developed by then into the 12th tropical depression of the season on September 8th on its approach to the Windward Island. So now everybody was concerned and Jamaica would in fact receive the full brunt of Gilbert's force. So there was instructions to expect that the eye would pass over the island. So warnings were issued. The wind and rain will cease, they said, but that will not be the end of the storm. So be very careful. By near mid-morning, the electricity was cut off and the country awaited in fear. This is the first sight upon arrival at the Kingston Airport, one of many calling cards left by Hurricane Gilbert. The entire island is devastated. Electric poles have been uprooted as if they were mere twigs, and thousands of homes have been ripped apart. 
Many here have begun to dig through the rubble of what's left. Others who have nothing, the homeless, have taken refuge at the National Arena. Entire families desperate for help. The children are miserable out in food from morning. All the cackles washed away. All the furniture is gone. That is where we have to sleep. This and is your home now? Yes. And I'm re really worried. And I don't have nowhere to live. In there is leaking too. Nowhere at all to live. See, Nothing. So it made landfall on Jamaican's eastern tip at approximately 9 a.m. And it was packing winds of nearly 130 miles per hour as it ravaged the entire island. Official data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows that Gilbert claimed 45 lives in Jamaica. The monster cyclone also destroyed hundreds of homes and infrastructure, downed electricity poles, and wiped out crops and livestock. Extensive flooding was also reported across the island as Gilbert produced storm surges of up to 19 feet and dumped more than 32 inches of rain on the country. The damage was so devastating that the Prime Minister at that time, Edward Siaga, after an aerial tour of the island, said that the country looked like Hiroshima after the atom bomb was dropped on Japanese city in World War II. The total damage was estimated at four billion US dollars. After its rampage across Jamaica, Gilbert then strengthened to a category four storm on September 13 and it slammed Grand Cayman before it gained category five strength and then it headed to the northeast coast of Mexico on the Yucatan Peninsula on September 14. It eventually weakened to a Category 2 before unleashing its fury on the western Gulf of Mexico. The aftermath left 35,000 people homeless and 83 ships sunk. 60,000 homes were destroyed and damage was estimated at between one and two billion dollars. In the Cancun region, a further loss of 87 million due to a decline in tourism. During Gilbert's lifespan, his highest winds were measured at 185 miles per hour and reached one of the lowest pressures on record at 888 millibars. It wreaked havoc in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico for nine days. In addition to the 45 deaths in Jamaica, the NOAA said that Gilbert accounted for 202 deaths in Mexico, 30 in Haiti, 12 in Guatemala, 12 in Honduras, 5 in the Dominican Republic, 5 in Venezuela, 3 in the United States, 2 in Costa Rica, and 2 in Nicaragua. The deaths in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Venezuela were caused by inland flash flooding from the outer rain bands that were associated with Gilbert. The weather experts said that Gilbert was the most destructive storm in Jamaica's history and the most severe storm since Hurricane Charlie in 1951. So the day after Gilbert's passage, a resident who is now deceased and their name was Sita Nembard, they were a Kingston resident and had experienced Charlie. And this is what that person had to say. Well, me did think Charlie did bad, but after yesterday, Charlie a boy. The driver left his car just before this tree fell. 150 people lost their lives in the disaster. From the stripped goods sheds, food is rushed to feed the 20,000 left homeless by the 125 miles an hour storm. Down below, pictures give some idea of the tremendous force of the storm that swept Jamaica for two and a half hours. The figure of over 140 deaths was probably incomplete, for in such a catastrophe, an accurate estimate could not yet be made. 
So, Hurricane Gilbert is definitely a very memorable weather system and it was really astonishing what happened back then. I know I was a baby, but still, growing up, you still heard about it and I was called the Gilbert Baby and you heard stories and everything like that. So, I'm going to be sharing some of the facts of Hurricane Gilbert and also the things that occurred after it, including the bully beefs, of course. So Gilbert was the most destructive and severe storm to have hit Jamaica. It was also the first storm to hit the island directly since the early 1950s. Jamaica also experienced a huge influx of relief supplies in the aftermath of the hurricane. There was also a zinc scandal that was relative to the relief materials followed by the destruction by the hurricane. Full of bully beef. That was the staple among diets during the recovery period after the passage of the hurricane. One of the most hilarious lines in the song, which was very popular, is the roof migrating without a visa, of course. Singer Lloyd Lavinder did the beloved Wild Gilbert Hurricane Anthem song, which went viral within days and was one of the fastest rising songs nationally and it sold over 200,000 copies. Gilbert took a total of over 400 lives across the wider region including the United States. The overall damage from the hurricane was around US $10 billion regionally. Overall, there was some $500 million US in damage that was estimated across the local agricultural sector, including a virtual wipeout of the banana industry. Significant looting was an unfortunate feature of the passage of Hurricane Gilbert. There were daily lineups at ice factories and bakeries where they had to ration the food and this occurred for weeks. Over 600 persons remained in official shelters in January 1989, almost four months after the passage of the hurricane. There was also a huge and noticeable baby boom some nine months after Gilbert left. It was estimated that more than 800,000 people sought shelter before, during, and immediately after the hurricane. A one-month state of emergency was also declared for St. Thomas, St. Catherine, and Kingston and St. Andrew. Gilbert also struck during the local pier season and destroyed everything. Leaking or blown off roofs were typical features of the hurricane's aftermath, of course. 90% of Jamaica's health facilities were damaged at that time. Gilbert's eye measured 15 miles across. Dray. Yes, King's one getting it. King's on the first pier, but the country has become last. Nobody can them the country. So the people of this small mountain hamlet are just gathering what possessions they have left, waiting for help and assessing the damage. Hard hit this. Very hard. Forced to go it alone. John Crane, News 4, Central Jamaica. And this is one lucky family. You know, I was worried and, you know, not be able to talk to her, no contact whatsoever. It's just, you know, I can't tell you, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy too.